Welcome to Fully, Fully cooked. cooked, because we cook like a bunch of fools too. Fully Cooked! My husband's lost a lot of weight with a cabbage soup diet, so today I'm going to show you how to make cabbage soup from scratch. All you need are these three ingredients, the rest are optional. You need cabbage, an onion, and tomato paste. You can even leave out the onion if you want. The onion really does give it a good flavor. I also add garlic, chili powder, and cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is thermogenic, so it will help you burn calories. And to cut this up, all I do is slice it, and then I slice it one way, I make a quarter turn, and then I slice it the other way. You can also use a food processor with a large slicing blade, that'd be fine too. I'm using a standard Dutch oven, just going to pretty much completely fill this with cabbage. I'm not an expert with a knife, but this is how I like to cut my onions. I cut them in half, then I cut them in half again. I do a quarter turn and I slice them. I'll make another quarter turn and then I'll slice them again. This is a pretty good size for onions in a soup. You can also use a food processor to cut them. To speed up the boiling process and to save electricity, I use a kettle. I add to my pan a half a cup of tomato paste. This does not have sugar in it, it's one ingredient. I add one teaspoon of the crushed garlic, a teaspoon of the chili powder, and just a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Additional seasonings are salt and pepper, and I said just you load it up. We use pink Himalayan salt. Yay, so it only took like a minute and a half for the water to boil, and I'm going to pour it all over. <laughs> trying to get it on this tomato paste to loosen it up. You can actually put it in a separate bowl and mix it before you do this. It's okay, it's all gonna cook down anyway. Put it on the stove on high, mix all the ingredients really well and just let it sit. If it's not enough, you can add more shredded cabbage or you can add more water. Let it come to a rolling boil until your cabbage is very soft and translucent. It won't look like this. <laughs> Once it cooked down a little bit, I decided it needed more cabbage, so I put more cabbage in there and it was delicious. I'm gonna let it cook some more. And when it's done cooking, it should look like this. See, the cabbage is pretty translucent. It'll be softened up. So just add salt and pepper, however much you need. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, comment on this video. Let me know you are here. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, leave them in the comments below. See you later. Have a great day.